Good morning, visitors. Right now we have the Far Archer Gertha uh, approaching the Duluth Ship Canal. The Far Archer Gertha was built as the William J. Delancey in 1981 by the American Shipbuilding Company at Lorain, Ohio. She measures 1,013 feet and 6 inches in length, 105 feet in width and 56 feet in depth. She is powered by two 8,040 horsepower, six-cylinder MAC diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 14 knots, or about 16 miles per hour. She is also equipped with a 1,500 horsepower bow thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. The power to has 36 hatches on her deck, which open into five cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 65 by 11 feet and weighs six tons each. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 71,300 tons. Above her deck, just in front of the pilot house, is a 260-foot self-emoting boom, which via a, a system of conveyor belts that run through the bottom of the vessel that allows it to load her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. Power Traderth is currently owned and operated by the Air Lake Steamship Company in Millwork Heights, Ohio. Named in honor of the Vice Chairman of the Interlake Steamship Company, the Trigurth is known as the Queen of the Lakes for being the longest vessel on the Great Lakes. She is built in two sections. I have lift area lift bridge, Mr. Trigurth. I have lift area lift bridge, Mr. Trigurth. Thank you for the call. Thank you very much. Mr. Trigurth was built for $60 million and became the flagship of the Interlake Steamship Fleet. She was rechristened with her current name in 1990 to reflect Interlake's newer owners. The historic Interlake Steamship Company was founded in 1913 by the massive mining and steel producing Pickens Mather & Company, which began operating ships in 1883. The fleet was sold into private hands in 1987 and currently operates uh, 10 ships and one integrated tug bark unit on the Great Lakes. The Polar Trigurtha is on its way out today with a load of low sulfur coal, which they just loaded at Midwest Energy. This is their second a trip here to the Twin Ports this season. Uh, typically we see them once a week running between here for coal and the DTE power plants in St. Clair and Monroe, Michigan. Uh, and that's where they're heading to now. Uh, once again, we have the Power to Group that's running through the Duluth Ship Canal. She was built in 1981. Measures 1,013 feet and 6 inches in length, 105 feet in width and 56 feet in depth. Maximum carry capacity of 71,300 tons, currently owned and operated by the Interlake Steamship Company of Mil Millburg Heights, Ohio. And once again, they are currently on their way out today with their second uh, load of coal for the season. Uh, typically, uh, during the recent shipping seasons, they do about 30 to 40 trips here, uh, depending on how business is. So uh, this is number two of many uh, to happen during the shipping season. If you see any crew members on deck as they go by, make sure to give them a good wave and wish them a safe trip.